And what's interesting is that stress, time poverty are on the rise despite the fact uh, that gross domestic product has also been increasing. So this is some data that my colleagues and I analyzed from the Gallup World Poll, which conducts representative samples from countries all over the world. And what we see is among working adults and in uh, at countries of uh, looking just at working adult samples in countries all over the world, stress is on the rise despite the fact that global wealth has increased. And there's some research suggesting this increase in wealth has actually created greater feelings of stress and time poverty. As our time becomes more economically valuable, we feel like it's scarcer and as a result feel more stressed when we lose any precious moment of free time. If you're feeling like you are even more stressed now than you were pre-COVID, you might not be alone in these thoughts. Uh, my colleagues have conducted research looking at Microsoft Analytics data, so just the back end of people's calendar export data, um, using a data set of about 3 million employees all over the world, and find that the average workday looking at communications between employees has increased by about 8% or about 50 minutes. Part of this workday increase is caused by the fact that employees are sending more emails. And most of these emails are now happening outside of work hours or more, more of these emails rather are happening outside of work hours. So if you feel like you're sending more emails with your colleagues, you probably are. <laughs> um, you're probably also feeling that you're like you're having more meetings. And if this is true, then uh, it's uh, for you, if this feeling of like you have more meetings is true for you, it's also true in the data. So we see from this Microsoft Analytics data that the amount of meetings people have also has increased in part because every conversation has to now be a scheduled meeting. Now, supplementing these objective findings that my colleagues have recently published, we've also been conducting survey research on time and happiness during COVID. The data that I'll present is from 88 countries in 44 states, and we have about double the sample size now since we've been continuously collecting data on time use and happiness in this work from home period. So we surveyed remote workers and found that most people in our studies, regardless of where they lived or worked, reported that they had had a gain in unproductive work time and feel less productive than pre-COVID. Um, so when we look at all these different time use categories, we see unproductive work increasing and self-reported productive work decreasing. It should not come to a surprise to anyone who has children who's tuning in that employees with kids feel especially unproductive during this work from home period. So uh, employed kids, uh, employed adults with kids under the age of 17 report feeling like they have much more unproductive work time now than they did pre-COVID. Makes sense with school lockdowns and parents now taking on the double responsibilities of being a professional and also a parent simultaneously. And what accounts for these feelings of not being very productive is something that's also a major culprit when it comes to time poverty, that is distraction. So we see in our survey data that employees who are reporting the biggest decreases in productive work time are also reporting the greatest increases in distraction. That's happening, of course, due to additional childcare demands and personal responsibilities, but it's also being caused by these additional meetings and emails that employees feel are creating this barrage of communication all day, every day, making it difficult to find time to get more substantial work done. 